everyone and welcome to part 11 of this character creation tutorial and in this part we'll be looking at the helmet. Um, before we go into sculpting though, here, here are a few things that I want to fix up. Um, so first of all, in edit mode, uh, if you look at it, we have two main parts. One is this ring here, which needs a bit of a better profile and then we have this bar around that is also quite important. I do want to do these parts separately, uh, just so that we don't have too much to worry about during during the sculpting. Yeah, here's some references to look at, and we'll try to do this in today's part. So, um, first of all, I think we need to straighten out this out this line a little bit better. Uh, I was thinking about how to do that, but. In the end, the easiest way is probably just to do it by hand, but be very, very careful to keep this line very smooth. Like, it's a manual process, but your goal is to get this line smooth all around. The problem is, is that this is not on a plane or not, not flat all around, so I can't use an automated tool that would do that, for example. Um, we can at the end try to smooth it a bit, but smoothing al alone, I don't think that it would get us there. Uh, so first, let's just try to get the shape as as good as we can. It's quite manual, just select the points. In the back, you might remember, I'm trying to keep it as low as I can, because that's sort of the design that I'm going for. I don't want to be seeing too much of the hair in the back, um, but otherwise we just connect it smoothly to the top part here. Almost. Uh, let's see. Now let's try to connect, uh, or let's select the entire loop. Uh, I don't want to select the front parts though, just these here, and then I'll just go ahead and. Uh, give it some relax use the relax tool and yeah I think that's a pretty smooth smooth curve now so that's a lot better than what we had before and next um, I will let's see select this entire thing and these two rings and then deselect these couple of parts here just select this area and I want to extrude it, but it would be nice if this already had like a, a certain width and not be like wider in the back. So what I'm going to do for this is, let's just add a new loop cut here before we add it. And just confirm it anywhere, but before you do anything else, go into your settings down here, set this to even, and then adjust this uh, to, mm, well roughly here I believe, is this good thickness. Uh, let me compare quickly to the reference. Maybe we need a bit more. Um, something like this seems better. Okay, uh, so we accept that and now we have a couple of um, double points here, like here are double points. Just select the entire mesh and uh, actually, before that, um, yeah, select the entire mesh, hit, hit, um, sit here as well. Um, no, hit F three and and search for merge, uh, merge. Oh, I think I know where it is. Yeah, you just hit M, hit the M key and hit by distance. Yeah, so that will just solve all these double double vertex issues. Now we have a little bit of a thinner ending here since since we ran out of space here. So I just want to move this a little bit up, just so that the thickness seems to be constant. And the rest is just we, we'll just leave it as it is. It doesn't really matter that this has a strange topology for now. Um, now I'm going to select what we had selected before, just all these parts around, and then just extrude them. But if you extrude them, they're only going one direction, and that's not really what we want. So hit the right mouse button to release it in, in, this, in the place where it 
originated from. So if you move it, you see that it is a separate extrusion now. And then hit Alt-S to move it along with normals and give it a bit of a thickness, something like this here. I noticed in the design or in the, in the sculpture at least that uh, in the back you don't have so much thickness so maybe we can give it this dynamic as well a little bit so I'm going now into the back here let's select everything from here to here with control select and I'm just going to hit G twice to slide the vertices vertices along and just edit one edge maybe to make this a bit smoother something like that looks quite nice um, and finally you could you could select uh, this entire part one more time <laughs> and extrude a bit more just to give it here and a little extra edge and that seems okay finally I believe that we don't really need now let's see so this has become quite a lot smaller I think that's a bit too small for the eye isn't it yeah so I'm going to scale this up a little bit again make this larger bring it down a bit so that we don't have too much of a gap um, maybe we do the opposite maybe we select this all and bring it up instead just have it a bit closer to the surface and of course we don't need like three loop cuts around here so I'm just going to select an unnecessary one and delete by hitting X and then edge loops so it gives us something like this for now um, I also noticed that the profile of this part isn't quite right just yet. Um, let's see. I'm trying to compare it. Yeah, I think this inner part we need to scale it up a little bit to make this a bit shorter, the thickness. Um, just get it like this roughly. And then this ring, try to scale it up a little bit and move it out a tiny bit more kind of wish I could get this more even here uh, to have it uh, to give it a nice angle around here I think we don't really need this loop as well so I'm going to select this entire loop that goes around here and hit X delete edge loop and that looks a lot better um, all right now I think the approach that I want to take this time is to begin with a uh, subdivision surface. So I'm going to add a modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier, and you'll see that uh, some of the edges that should be hard are now soft. Now we have to adjust that a little bit. For example, select with Alt left mouse button, select this entire loop, hit Shift E and crease it uh, with the with the object with the tool that you get from that. Uh, maybe you don't need to increase it all the way. You can also hit shift E and increase it a bit less Just to give it a bit of a curvature. You can also turn this up a little bit to see more detail And we have to repeat that around uh, Maybe let's do that in the in the edge select mode I'm Just going to do that on a couple of places now where it's necessary um, Around here as well around here as well. Oh Okay, now we don't need that edge, but we do need this edge and this edge, possibly here as well, and here. So hit Shift E again and bring it to 0 0.9 maybe, to leave a little bit of a bevel. And maybe finally this lower loop around here. Give it a crease, something like that, and I believe that this looks nice. I also don't like this one edge here, so just go in here and dissolve edge quickly, and that should fix it up. You can also quickly go in here and relax these a couple of times just in case there was something weird. You can also uh, just look at this plane and hit circle make it circular but you don't want to do that on this outer one I think it's nice that it has a bit of a bit of a stretched shape but I do want to just adjust this a little bit with proportional editing just to give it a nicer curve 
And I believe that this is going to be it for this part. Let's see. I mean, for for this uh, first step. Maybe set this to one after all because uh, it seems to be a bit problematic. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's set it. Should we? So I'm curious what happens if I set. No. Okay. That's not a good idea. Yeah, let's leave it as it is. So this is the base that we're going to be working with for the sculpt then. Um, did we miss anything else? Don't think so. Uh, one thing we can try still to make the whole thing a bit more volumey and... Oh, I forgot the horns by the way. Let's do the same thing here as well. Just select all these edges, hit shift E and set that to 1 as well. Um, what was I saying? Let's... Uh, let's select the entire thing, maybe not the, the horns. I think those are fine as they are. And I'll use shift, uh, I mean alt S to just inflate it a little bit, the entire thing. I hope that this gives it a little bit of a nicer, large uh, appeal. And also I'll use Shift E one more time and just incre uh, de decrease the creasing strength on everything a little bit. I don't want it to be too hard. I actually want these creases to be a bit softer. So I'm just going in here, decreasing that a little bit. And I think that's now a better starting point. Then we don't have to go over the entire model and smooth it out. Uh, in the sculpting process. But there we go. You know what? I I will in fact um, not begin the sculpt on this part just yet. I, I also decreased the crease on the horns by the way a little bit. I just want it to you know, be a little bit smooth all around. You can also select the entire object now in object mode right click on it and sh and select shade smooth that way you see it all nice and smoothed out so this is where we add now uh, it has turned out to be a bit of a shorter part but I think I'm going to call it an end here because uh, we very nicely covered one part this actually went a lot better than I was <laughs> I was thinking that it would go but um, just for you to know what the next steps would be with this part uh, which we will do a bit later. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a similar thing that we did with the body. So we're going to remesh it in sculpt mode and we will add a bunch of details like scratches here, some of these minor details. Um, that's the idea. I mean theoretically you could also just have a low poly model and do things with texturing but I guess there's different approaches for different applications of the character and I'm just taking an approach that I think is suitable for what I want to achieve. So there we go, the character is really starting to take shape now, the details are really making a difference. I'm excited to move on now to the different parts. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to focus too much on one area, like finishing the head up and then only moving on to the rest of the body. Instead I want to move at the same pace on all parts. So. Uh, the body is not finished yet, the, the face is not finished, the helmet is not finished, but we're going to do like these lower parts first. There's still this uh, ring, the hair, the ears. These need more detail before we go into the third iteration of finishing everything up. I hope you can kind of follow the, the flow there. But anyway, this is actually really getting exciting now, so I'm looking forward to recording the next part. I hope that you're looking forward to that too, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>